Hi oh, everyone and welcome to PC Retro Tech. So I thought it might be a good time to upload a video since it's already late for this week. Um, so at the end of last week's episode, you remember that I looked at this hard drive that I purchased and it wasn't working at the time, or at least I couldn't get it to work in my 286. Uh, so what I've done is I've put it into this Amstrad, which is a PC, and it has a hard drive card in there. There's actually already a hard drive in there as well, but uh, all I've done is just connect the cables to uh, the new hard drive instead and uh, I was actually able to get it to work so let me just start the machine and I'll show you what happens so it's not making as much noise as you can hear it's a little bit of a rattle of the heads as it starts up uh, but then after that uh, it comes to life and the BIOS on this ST11 card recognizes uh, that there's a drive and I've actually formatted it and put DOS on it and as you'll see in a moment uh, it actually boots into DOS so that's just an update on uh, the hard drive that's all working now um, so that was actually a really good purchase in the end uh, it didn't cost very much and and not only have I got a, a cradle, which I've been looking for for ages, but I've got a drive to go with it as well. Uh, but that's not the main thing I want to talk about today. Uh, so the main thing I want to talk about is the graphics demo that I've been working on. Uh, so let me just show you where that's at now. So this is how the demo is looking. And you can see it's moving a lot faster and it's smoother than it was when I first showed it off. Uh, so the main improvement, of course, is speeding up the line drawing. And in last week's video, I explained how we sped up the horizontal-ish lines. That's the ones that move across the screen more than down the screen. Uh, so obviously this last week, I've been working really hard on speeding up the code for vertical-ish lines, so the ones that go down more than across. And I won't go into all the details because it's a bit involved, but uh, basically... Uh, we split up into eight different cases. So there are obviously odd and even scan lines. And within each of those two cases, there's four cases depending on uh, which pixel in a byte you're dealing with. So there are obviously four pixels in each byte. And we just jump about between all the different cases. And that turns out to be a really fast way of drawing vertical-ish lines. Uh, so there's actually a couple of other improvements here, though. Uh, I've taken away the code that was drawing the bounding box twice. Obviously that was slowing it down, but it was necessary before because uh, you got a really horrible flicker effect if it wasn't there. But now that's not needed because the lines are being drawn so much faster. Uh, so the other uh, trick I've done here is to have specialized code for vertical and horizontal lines, which can be drawn much faster than uh, just general lines. And so that's actually speeding things up a lot as well. Uh, you can still see some flicker, of course, and that's not the camera in this case. Um, it's probably worse on the camera, of course, uh, but in real life you can see it as well. And so we're going to try and get rid of that. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to try here is uh, blanking the lines uh, faster than drawing them. So obviously uh, when you're blanking lines, you just need to put zeros in memory because the background is zero in anyway, and you don't need to be so careful about that. Um, and so the person on the Vogons forum, Rhea Enigne, who's been uh, working through this with me to come up with some really clever ideas, suggested that uh, to draw uh, black lines or blank lines out uh, with specialized code. So I'm going to do that next and I'll show you what the result is. Well, after what seemed like an infinite number of bug fixes, uh, I finally have the fast blanking working. Uh, you can probably tell it's a lot later here uh, than the earlier part of the video and uh, so I fixed many many bugs uh, a lot of corner cases but now it's running quite smoothly and at least to the eye it isn't a bad effect uh, except that every now and again you get what looks like almost like snow uh, but just black snow appearing uh, on the image and it comes and goes and the reason for that is that we're not synced with the vertical refresh rate of the monitor so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that when the monitor goes into vertical retrace, that's when we start blacking lines. And so they'll, they won't appear black for very long, if at all, because uh, that'll be happening predominantly when the monitor is in vertical retrace or during a time when the uh, 
the electron beam is still scanning down towards the image. Um, so hopefully that will actually get rid of almost all the remaining flicker, uh, which I didn't really have much hope of doing uh, with the original speed that things were running, but it does look like it might actually just about be possible now. So let's see how that goes. So this is a result of adding code to detect vertical refresh and I apologise if this is still flickering. I've done a few things to try and uh, sort that out. In particular I've turned the monitor way down so it looks very faint to the eye at the moment and the idea is that the camera will have to use a longer exposure uh, to get the same brightness and so this might uh, help with the flickering. I'm not exactly sure if it will or not. Uh, there's also a lot of flickering being introduced in the video editing itself, and I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, but to the naked eye, it looks uh, very smooth indeed. Uh, the only things that are really flickering now are the vertical lines on the sides of the rectangle. Um, they're just a very small amount of flicker, uh, especially when it's moving uh, left and right. Uh, also there's a kind of serrated effect uh, as it moves less left and right and I think the reason for that is because when I draw vertical lines I do all the even scan lines first and then I draw all the odd scan lines and obviously if the electron beam goes down between those you'll see um, you know the odd scan lines at the old position and the even scan lines at the new position and so uh, the line will look disjointed from itself. So there's probably not really anything I can do about that. I could change the vertical line algorithm to not do that uh, but I think I'm just going to, to stop trying to make modifications to it now. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for this demo. Um, it's been a lot of fun working on this and uh, the normal content retro hardware will be back next week, hopefully. Uh, I have a new 486 machine that I'll be building up and it looks really great. Uh, I'm really glad that I got this particular one, so stick around if you're interested in that. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like below and don't forget to subscribe, uh, especially with new channels. If you don't put the uh, notification icon on, you won't even know that the videos exist, So, and that's even if you subscribe. So put the notification icon on so that YouTube tells you when the videos are going up. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a later video. Bye.